This is part one of my four-part series on mortises. On this part, we'll be talking about the pallor mortis. It begins to occur 15 to 30 minutes after death. This is when the heart stops pumping blood throughout the body and the skin begins to turn pale. Part two of my four-part series on the mortises. This part, we'll be talking about algor mortis. This is the cooling down of the body. From the natural 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit to the temperature of the surrounding environment. If the exterior temperature is colder than the natural body temperature, the body will cool down two degrees in the first hour and then one degree in the following hours until it is the same temperature of the surrounding area. But this is not always 100% accurate. There are many external factors like clothing. This is part three of my four part series on the mortises. This part we'll be talking about rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is the stiffening and contracting of the muscles. Before rigor mortis, the body is completely relaxed because of something called primary plasticity, because the brain is completely dead. This initial relaxation lasts about two hours-ish. This is when the body pees, poops, and passes gas. It's that relaxed. Ooh, but then the cellular breakdown triggers the rigor mortis and the stiffening of all the muscles and the contracting of the muscles. This peaks at about 12 hours and then the body begins to start relaxing again. This stage can be more accurate in determining the time of death, more so than algor mortis, primarily because there's less external factors involved. This is part four of my four part series on the mortises. In this episode, we'll be talking about liver mortis. This primarily involves discoloration and blood pooling. Once the blood stops circulating throughout the body, gravity will pull the blood out of the extremities, turning them almost white. And gravity will pull the blood towards the lowest points in the body. As we see here, it'll be on the back. After 20 minutes after death, this is when the process really kicks up. About two hours after death is when we start to really see it. At about six hours, lividity and staining really set in. Eight to 12 hours later, the pools start to turn purple because the blood chemistry is seriously changing. Once lividity is completely fixed, like the blood is stained, the skin, death investigators can go in and move the body without affecting the blood-stained skin. Lividity on the back signifies that the deceased has been laying on their back since their time of death. Like, follow, and check out the previous parts, and learn more at www.deathscience.tv.